Legislators took their summer recess without action on a huge piece of legislation on Beacon Hill. And 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming has more on pending gun legislation. Gun legislation has been circulating in the House since June, and the Senate recently announced they're working on their own bill. However, there's been no public movement on either piece of legislation. The House's 140-page gun bill was submitted this summer, and House Speaker Ron Mariano had planned a quick debate and passage before the August recess. However, the bill was delayed and still has not been scheduled for a public hearing. The House's gun bill takes on many different aspects of gun laws and ownership. For example, it takes on licensing rules and also would make it illegal for people to carry guns in schools, polling places, government buildings and private property without the owner's consent. It also takes on ghost guns. The House's bill would require parts of ghost guns to be serialized and registered to make them traceable. The more that we can talk about these issues and highlight the fact that guns are creating so much trauma, whether it's through homicides, or suicides or unintentional shootings. We have to be doing more and we can be doing more to prevent this from happening. Representative Kelly Pease, a gun owner himself, is open to hearing any legislation but has concerns over the House's bill. I think this thing just needs a, a good overhaul, that's for sure. And then look at what exactly do we need for new gun laws and what are you trying to restrict? And let's, let's get the focus narrowed down and not just be broad like this one is. Now, Senate leaders have been working on their own gun bill and have said they are also looking at ghost guns as well as data collection. The House and Senate could take up this legislation as early as this fall. Working for you at the Statehouse in Boston, Ellen Fleming and 22 News.